If you've been anywhere near the internet in the last few weeks, you may have seen this guy. Oh, wait, wait, wait. This is a Dota show. I meant this. Yes, 7.xx brought a lot of changes, but one item might just be the king of everything. From pro games to pub matches, Helm of the Dominator has taken the Dota world by storm. It's easy to see why. But just how good is Helm of the Dominator? And how can it help you rank up? That's what we'd like to know, and we're pretty sure that's what you're here for, too. I'm Pao from Wombo Combo, and welcome to Nice Assist, the show where we take a look at some interesting trends in Dota to help you pick the right strategy on your way up the rank ladder. As a general reminder, these are all trends taken from games of Dota 2. If you want to experience success, playing a hero and strategy you're comfortable with, or just plain practicing the ins and outs of a hero will help you win more games than just trying out the latest builds. And with that, let's get started. Let's go. The item. Instead of a hero this week, we'll be taking a look at an item well loved and hated in the pro scene and in public matches. The new Helm of the Dominator might come as a minor surprise to some players. After all, the item has always been regarded as a value item in the early game, providing a lot of early game tank stats for cheap since the days of Dota 1. However, the latest changes to the item have given it another burst of popularity, with pro players left and right either raving or ranting about everyone's favorite creep stacking item. But what exactly makes Helm of the Dominator so good right now? In the past, Helm was often used just as a stepping stone to Satanic, and an easy way to stack creep and ancient camps for efficient farming. Today's Helm of the Dominator, however, isn't your mama's item. Let's take a look at what it is now. The new helm is attainable by combining a Gloves of Haste, a headdress, and a recipe scroll for a total item cost of 1,800 gold. This is equal to the old Helm of the Dominator build path that used Helm of Iron Will and the old Morbid Mask. In total, the new item gives you a total stats of 120 health, 8.18 health regeneration, 0.86 armor, 26 attack speed, 72 mana and 0.24 mana regeneration on top of a 0.375% spell damage and 6 attack damage plus the ability to dominate a creep and the new dominate aura that gives attack speed meanwhile the old helm gave you 20 bonus damage 3 bonus health regeneration 5 armor and the dominate ability Already, the new helm is looking much better compared to its older counterpart. One thing that the old helm had to edge out its newest cousin, of course, is the ability to scale into an even better item into the late game through the satanic build path. So, helm is now a better item on its own. But, is that enough to rave about the item? To really understand what makes helm so good right now, we need to compare the dominate abilities. One crucial new aspect separates the old and new Helms apart. Move speed. The old Dominate ability on Helm of the Dominator gave creeps a base move speed of 350. Pretty good the earlier you get it, and in the mid game still good enough to keep pace with some of the slower supports, or fast enough to stack camps by issuing auto attack and move commands back and forth. The new Dominate ability, however, oh boy. The new one is something else. Aside from heaming creeps you dominate back to full HP, the new dominate ability gives the blazing fast move speed buff on creeps, bringing them from 350 move speed to a whopping 425. That's more than some heroes will have all game. You can see then how crazy this can get. Before, you needed some coordination with a buddy to accomplish some body blocks before you're able to land a Centaur Grief Hoop Stomp. Now, you can do that all on your own with some minimal micro. Just take a look at this clip by AUI2000 and watch how many people he chases down so early in the game. Long story short, the new Helm of the Dominator makes you tankier, lets you push faster, is incredibly efficient, and gives you a borderline 
unfair advantage if you know how to micro it well. That sounds like a pretty sweet deal. How to play. While you can build Helm of the Dominator on just about anyone, the most efficient way to use the item is still on core heroes. Core heroes that are expected to fight early and often. That's because despite the gold efficiency, 1,800 gold can still be a challenge to get early on, especially if you're a support. Although, some supports do shine really well with the item, which we'll tackle later. In general, you want to aim for a completion rate of the item by 7 to 9 minutes, going for the headdress first for that laning stage buff, as well as giving you an easy build path. But by far the most important aspect in playing Helm of the Dominator strategies is in the creep selection and usage. In general, you want to go for these four main creeps. The Center Conqueror, the Dark Troll Summoner, the Hellbear Smasher, or the Satyr Banisher. Of these four, the Satyr Banisher has to be the most annoying thing to do in your MMR games. Let's take a look one more time at that AUI clip and you tell me if this doesn't feel dirty to you. Other than that, you sometimes get some more utility out of the other creeps in the jungle. Namely, the Seder Mind Stealer, the Ogre Frost Mage, and the Mud Golem. Ogre Frost Mage gives you that armor buff, so sometimes you might want it for the laning stage while the Mud Golem gives you a targeted stun. Scouting is also an important use for your dominated creeps. Because of their high move speed and the fact that you probably have a crowd control ability to go with them, you can easily scout out locations to keep you and your allies safe while also being able to get out of there quickly. Just remember that the enemy team can also take control of your creep because they're likely to have Helm of the Dominator on too anyway. Heroes While we did say you can build Helm on almost everyone, some heroes stand head and shoulders above others. Here are some heroes that use Helm of the Dominator very, very well. Necrophos is just the king of pubs right now, with an almost 60% win rate globally in most skill brackets. He's a tanky core that loves being in the middle of the battle for long periods of time. He's also one hero without a reliable crowd control ability outside of his ultimate, Reaper Scythe, making him an incredible wielder for this item. Helm of the Dominator lets Necrophos stay in the middle of fights between the HP, armor, and health regeneration. It even upgrades your ability to use Heartstopper Aura because you're in the battle for so long. Survivability and a built-in pre-rework Rod of Athos. What's not to love? Use Necrophos to stay in the middle of the fights for longer and the creeps to help you land those sweet, sweet death pulses. Bounty Hunter. Bounty Hunter is a support hero that the patch was good to. A natural roamer and ganker, an experienced bounty hunter using the gold gain from track kills, can easily slot into a Helm of the Dominator in between planting wards and buying his other core items such as green boots. But what makes Bounty Hunter such a fearsome Helm hero is the bonus move speed gained by your creeps on track targets. If you thought 425 move speed was scary, <laughs> try 500. Once you have the item, Tracking the backline targets and maneuvering your creeps becomes your main priority. Seriously, you can start chasing down Drow Rangers with Centaur creeps this way, allowing your team an easier time to advance on the enemy when they're too distracted by the race car Centaur running after them. In a pinch, you can always ask your carry players nicely to buy Helm instead if you're nowhere near your gold because you're buying so much wards. Conclusion Helm of the Dominator's strength as an item is in just how early you can get it and just how much it gives you per gold. The combination of efficient stats and the immense utility of the Dominated creeps is just honestly too much right now. So you should probably use it now and take advantage of it for your ranked games. At least until the Frog Almighty nerfs it into the ground and we never hear from it ever again.
As always, our guides are here mostly to help you get started, but always feel free to change it up according to your experiences. I've been Powerful Mombo Combo, and we'll see you next week.